Chevy, headed to the levee, picking up my belly. We were out of never, now we're going steady. Just as time was better, my eye was on the belly. But if I was a belly, you can up the deli. Mikey, lesson live, lesson learned. Listen, when you're using these black rabbit straps, they rock, all right? But they have a, this little caliber, or caribou, whatever it's called. It's got a little twisty thing. You have to lock that into place. Because Mikey was just on a second story. He didn't lock it into place. The camera has flown out. And if I wasn't below it and caught the camera with my shin and with my unbelievable soccer ability, brought the camera down, <laughs> It would have been no more because he had the D700 with the 105 F2 on there. It weighed like 30 pounds. So I'm suing Light Number Two. Mm -hmm. Rolling? Rolling. All right, so we got this set up. Um, yeah, Rosie kind of put together this this little scene here with a teepee and some pillows. Some pillows. This is all out of the vintage store, guys. The dress. <laughs> Even <laughs> Rachel was out of the vintage store. Yeah, she was in the show. <laughs> Very simple setup. We have the 28 inch Westcott Apollo right here. We have one hey. flash over there with a flag because we do not want the flash to light this area. We just want her to hit. The her. other thing it was doing is that was we were getting some contamination on that wall, which was acting as a light source. Yeah, and it's like a yellowish, ugly color. So there's peach or something. I don't like it. Uh, so we put that flag on there. It's hitting her rim. Mike is going to shoot from on the ladder and off the ladder. Different perspectives, different right. angles will give you a completely different shot. And we're also, I'm going to be adjusting the white balance. Uh, probably going to really try to warm it up. Probably on the cloudy setting. Just yeah. because we're trying to get more of that vintage kind of feel. Yeah, and if the cloudy setting is not warm enough, warm enough, we're going to switch it over to Kelvin's and just pop that up to about 6,000, So I'm starting from scratch, trying to figure out where my white balance is on the cloudy setting. I'm going to put it at F4. F4 sounds pretty a good. Good we place to start. We don't need that much depth of field. F4 is a great place to start. That means the flash is going to be at about an eighth power or a quarter power. Not very strong because our aperture is pretty right. wide. And we sometimes we have this a little bit closer in, but we've got it further away, which produces a little bit of a harder light. But she has beautiful skin, so we're not so worried about how soft the light is. Exactly. And we need to illuminate a little bit bigger of an area, so we do have to go a little bit further back. The backlight is set at about a quarter power, and we might have to bump that up to half power because we do want it to be more powerful than our key light, our main light, So whatever you want to call it. Rachel, right, Rachel. I'm gonna take like two or three test shots to get my exposure right. You just hang out and do whatever you <laughs> like doing, and we'll go from there. Okay, let's take a look at it. <laughs> It's a little bit hot on the, her back shoulder. Yeah, the backlight is extremely hot. But the, so but the light on her face is perfect. Is perfect. We can back that off, or we can power it down. Yeah, and I'm just gonna power it down because I don't need to back it off. Um, so I'm cutting it down to one eighth, it was at half a stop, I'm cutting it down to one eighth power. Uh, it's just, it's about two stops too much, so I lowered it two stops. We'll see how it works. Is it possible to get a little bit of a fill in on the yeah. face? On her face. We can definitely do it. And the, the way we're going to do it is check this out, guys. We, this soft box right now, if you can tell, is directly faced, is directly at her. So there's no way for me to reflect light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this a little bit closer. I'm going to drop this down just a little bit so it's more at her level. Okay? And. Now that I've tilted the softbox a little bit more this way, I can now put the reflector here to fill in. Hopefully. We'll see. And presto, Andy was right. We wow. filled it in. So there's no fill and fill. That's good. Huge. And also, it added a little bit of light to her hair on this side. Otherwise, it just looked a little too contrasty. So. I like it. Let's put the reflector back in there. Reflector back in there. What we want the reflector to be is to be at an angle with, so we're triangulating. We want the light to hit her, hit the reflector and bounce back. Okay? Okay, That's Rachel. Now it's your job. Look good. <laughs> <laughs> 
Which honestly, she does that naturally anyway. She's really easy to work. She's awesome to work with. Don't worry about going back and forth so much. And okay. The other thing I'm doing is I'm making sure that um, I'm not using a real, real wide angle because she's already kind of really, she's really long and tall. So I'm going to try to shoot it at, at, you know, somewhere around between 50 and 70 millimeters. Just makes her look good. Look a little bit this way, Rachel, your face, the eyes on me. But guys, look how cool this entire setup is. It's and it's cool. all from the vintage store. Like that is uh, perfect right there, Rachel. Uh, I really liked it when you looked at me, though. Perfect. Rosie now, really helped us out. Now, look at me. Look away shoot. technique. Okay, now you're rolling. All right, it's cool. So we're at the end. We're going to do something really, really simple and sexy. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say that. Let me do it. All right, so we've got one more look that we're going to do. Rosie's going to put this long Indian headdress. She's got her all fixed up in all kinds of, uh, of really, really cool garb. And we're going to put an American flag behind her with the sunlight behind her. We're going to use the brightness of that sun blazing through the fabric of the flag. And then just use a couple of reflectors to get some really specular looking light on her face. And I think that's going to be the shot that I'm looking for. And then Rosie has an idea for something she wants and we'll light that up. So here we go. Now look straight at me like this. Will you say you love me? Will you say you love me? Are you thinking of me? Open your mouth. Will you never But you know you could be mine right now, baby. If you think you're good to sign right now, baby. Do two hands like this. Yeah. Do you think you want me? Yeah. Are you feeling lucky? Are you thinking of me? But you know you could be mine right now, baby. Look straight at me with your hands. Yeah. Turn around. Face straight up like that. Now really, yeah. Won't you just stay with me? Just one night. Won't you just stay with me? Just one night, when our time will come, maybe I don't know, but we'll be there soon, we may never know. So while we're living here, the time is